Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for December the 21st, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. In our top news story, sources suggested that Sanofi's takeover discussions with Actelion include negotiations on a contingent value right worth around $20 of the potential price of $275 per share. People indicated that the possible CVR would be linked to drugs Actelion has in advanced testing, including the multiple sclerosis therapy Panesimod. Also in the news, the FDA extended its review of a filing seeking approval of Roche's multiple sclerosis therapy or Crevus until March 28, 2017. The extension was triggered by the submission of additional data regarding the commercial manufacturing process for Acrevis and is not related to efficacy or safety. In other news, Bristol-Myers Squibb CEO Giovanni Caforio will become chairman effective May 2 next year. Caforio, who became chief executive in 2015, will succeed current chairman Lamberto Andriotti, who has announced plans to retire. In addition, Biogen's board of directors approved the planned separation of its hemophilia business, which will operate under the name Bioverative. Shareholders will receive one Bioverative share for every two Biogen shares held as of January 17. And finally, following an independent data and safety monitoring board recommendation and subsequent futility analysis, Merrimack Pharmaceuticals will stop a Phase 2 study of MM302. The decision to stop the breast cancer trial was made after the DSMB concluded that continuing would be unlikely to demonstrate benefit over the comparator treatments. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.